Well, welcome aboard here on the 737-800. We're here in uh, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, using the uh, triple uh, monitor sim that I have with the uh, corrected views. And I'm just looking around here, and it's awesome. The more I get uh, acquainted with uh, X-Plane 11, the more I'm loving it. And uh, just wanted to point out a few things that I've, uh, you know, I was playing with the pop-up windows. You may have seen my video where I was putting the, uh, using duet display to put the uh, a GPS on the uh, on the the uh, iPad that I have it's pretty cool because you just hook it up with a uh, lightning cable and upload the uh, drivers and uh, you get a, an, an extra display now I've got uh, one mounted here on a nice little bracket that I got from Sporty's pilot shop that allows it to be rotated and it's very very rigid uh, so you could even use a touch screen on it as you know, I'm a real fan of uh, Air Manager, but in this case, I've got the uh, second monitor running and uh, actually running X-Plane, and the external views are just, uh, they're just running uh, as uh, external views uh, network to the computer that's running uh, X-Plane here as the master, and I've got the cockpit displayed. Now, what I wanted to show you is some cool things you can do. These pop-out windows are are excellent. Let's look at the uh, at the uh, FMC and then I'm going to pull it over here and click on the uh, tougher right and it makes a pop out window. I'm going to just kind of drag that over onto my iPad and I'm going to maximize it to fill up the screen and as you can see I got an awesome touch uh, controlled FMC. And I can use the hit the index button there. You can see I can go to index. I can go to uh, you know legs page, uh, next page, uh, progress page. Nothing there, of course, because we haven't loaded a flight plan. But uh, you put flight plan in there. Now there's some uh, third-party apps that do this uh, that are available, but this is included uh, right in uh, X Plane 11, which is kind of awesome that uh, this kind of stuff can be done with no extra cost. It, yeah, with touch control it works quite nicely. And uh, in this case there's not a need for Air Manager because you can get a, a real nice, uh, pretty much just all touches. And as long as there's no knobs it's really, it's fairly functional. So anyway, there's uh, there's one use. Now let's take a look at another thing. We're going to hit uh, uh, command or actually hit the M button and that brings up the uh, map kind of hard to see here I'm gonna go over again and uh, hit the uh, pop out button in the upper right create a pop out window now I'm gonna drag it over here on my extra monitor on the right okay there it is I'm gonna go up to the right to the uh, maximize button and now I have an awesome map that can be adjusted and zoomed and so on so it's uh, it's pretty cool. So you can see the detail on this uh, on this map, and uh, it's just really cool. And uh, it would really be cool if uh, if we could incorporate some uh, pinch and uh, zoom on this, some other way to uh, to change the thing. Here we can put a VFR sectional. Uh, we can change it to the low level, low in roots, or uh, the high in roots, the jet airways. We can put a compass rose on where our location is, and you can see there we are at uh, Fort Lauderdale, aiming towards the ocean, runway uh, 9 left. And I don't know if there's any underlying data refs for this or not, but if there are, we could uh, build a mask with uh, Air Manager and manipulate this also and incorporate this map into uh, some kind of a nav display, which would be kind of cool. So anyway, that gives you an idea of what can be done. As you can see, nice cockpit display. I haven't had a whole lot of luck using the cockpit. Now, we've developed a, uh, I developed a uh, cockpit for the uh, 737 that would fit on a monitor, but... Uh, we were using uh, the XHSI freeware and putting those uh, windows in the uh, openings. Now, 
just imagine, and, and I encourage you to, to contact uh, Laminar and ask them to, uh, to incorporate this, but imagine now if the uh, PFD, the uh, navigation display, and the multifunction displays could also be popped out. Then you could put them on another monitor and either you build a, an air manager a screen or a controls around there that are easily manipulated with touch control. Or you could uh, also uh, uh, take just about any window. You know, I understand that the GTN 750 by Flight One, or actually Reality XP, that's already on the X plane. Soon as the software development kit allows for pop out windows, they're going to be able to pop out that GTN. 750 and you can you imagine how much fun it would be to put that on your iPad or into another uh, layout like the one uh, that we did for uh, the with air manager you might check that video out too I I tried putting the uh, 430 and uh, 530 both into a, a Cessna 172 layout and uh, it really looks cool so anyway uh, I think we got some bright future for cockpit builders being able to uh, undock um, all sorts of uh, navigation displays and uh, not have to reinvent the wheel and to incorporate those into either cockpits using uh, other monitors or uh, incorporating them into a virtual uh, touch cockpit like I did with the uh, Air Manager. So check out my other videos. Subscribe if you like. I'm always on the lookout for some new cool thing and I've been exploring uh, a whole lot into X-Plane 11 because I think it is obviously the simulator of the future. Thanks a lot. So uh, after playing around with the pop-out windows, I'm pretty impressed, but there's a few things that I'd like to see added to make them more functional. First of all, there needs to be some constraint on resizing. I don't know if you've tried, but if you grab the uh, corner and try to resize it, uh, there's no control of the aspect ratio, so what you end up with can end up in a very unusual shape, nothing like the original instrument. I think there should be maybe the shift key or some other key for constraint so that when you drag it maintains the, uh, the shape or the aspect ratio, just like most other graphics programs. The second thing I'd like to see is some kind of persistence on window location. For example, when you pop out the window, and drag it to another location. When you close it, it doesn't remember that position so that the next time you start X-Plane you have to go through that whole process again. And you can imagine if you had a multiple window cockpit where you've drug a number of these out and placed them on monitors or uh, other locations, uh, iPads, wherever, it would be a pain to have to do that every time. So I'd like to see that when uh, X-Plane is shut down, or when the aircraft is shut down, that it would remember the last location that that, uh, that wet pop-up window has been, so that when you open it again, it could go right to that location. Even better, it would be nice if there was some kind of modifier key, uh, maybe uh, the option key or something, that when you clicked it, instead of clicking it the first time and bringing it up to be visible, in the uh, regular sim window and then having to pop it out by clicking the upper right corner again it would sure be nice if if by holding that modifier key down it would not only open it but it would also pop it out to a separate window and if it had known locations for the previous location it would go straight to that location that way by just clicking the various uh, displays that you wanted to pop out and position in a simulator it would happen just with a simple click, a modified click, instead of having to go through several steps. Although I'll continue to use it and be happy with what we have, uh, I think these are a couple uh, fixes that would greatly improve uh, the functionality. The question that came up with Ben Supnick in a discussion or in, online was, why do we need to remember per airplane? And I'm thinking that uh, sometimes, for example, the G530, uh, you might want it in one location on a layout for one airplane and another location on, on a screen for another airplane, especially in an air manager layout where you might have completely different layouts from time to time. Obviously, if you have a hardware cockpit uh, where you're dedicating a certain monitor, maybe a small Raspberry Pi H, uh, HDMI monitor to hold uh, the visual or the screen of the, of the Garmin, 
every time, then that wouldn't be a factor. So I could live with that, but uh, ideally it might even be nice if it remembered the position in each airplane configuration. So let's take this thing for a spin. The uh, MCP is all set up for takeoff. Let's release the brakes. Push up some power. Eighty knots. Three one and rotate. Positive rate, gear up. You can see we get a great view out of the side here, all the way to the uh, edge of the of the uh, window frame. Turning to the north here. Gloves are coming up. Let's engage the IE channel of the autopilot. Go to level change. Go up to about 220. Initial climb. And let's go to heading select. Thanks a lot for viewing. Hope to uh, see you soon on another uh, video.